Good morning. Buon dia. Uh, another beautiful day, look at that. Yo. It's Levante. So I thought we'd come down the beach, see what the beach is like. And uh, for anybody that maybe hasn't been here in a while, you'll see this nice view on ramp. It's allowing people down onto the beach easier from this part of Calabona. Take some photos on my way. Oh my word, it's like it's 7 a.m. just now and it's Saturday. It's already very hot. Let's see what my watch No, I've not got it set up for the heat of the temperature just now. Anyway, let's go for a wee dawdle along. See what we can find. See if we can see any differences. So I should, I suppose, at the start of this video, introduce our um, travel blog, tourist information website. It's uh, full of tips and advice. It is cala-bona.info. So if you go to the World Wide Web, which is the best place to find it. To cala bonainfo We're also on social media, the Calabona Tourist. So just search on Facebook and on Instagram for the Calabona Tourist. Um, we are there, lots of photos, videos. So I've got a wee Spanish friend who lives up in here. I'd say hello to Monique. Not seen Monique since I've arrived yet. Lovely wee woman. She keeps in touch by email. She sends us a lots of uh, photographs and videos randomly throughout the year, just to keep us in touch with things. Every year that I arrive back to Calabona, the beaches always look different. Um, and I know most people maybe wouldn't notice it. But what happens in the winter is that all this sand that they put here, because these are not natural beaches here in Calabona, all the sand that they put here for us tourists in the summer, um, in the winter the sea comes up and takes it back in, right into here. And uh, what I've noticed over the years is, like places especially up here at the back, up at the back, it used to be packed full of, like, you, you had like nearly like a wee sandy beach you could walk along. But nowadays, it's just a tiny, tiny wee bit of uh, sand. I'll show you. And speaking to Monique, it was Monique who, as I say, lives in this building here. Um, it was her that was telling me all this information. And here's an example of it. Um, now, you've got all this stuff sitting here. Well, actually, that was always rocks. For as back as far as nine years ago, I can remember all the, the rocks up this because I remember when my daughter was five, she's now 14, um, we used to put the, the buggy in among these rocks and we would have went in and out and played. Uh, the, the depth of the water is, is also much more shallow here because there's more sand in there now so yeah there you go there's an example this side here used to look like this side here so but still very beautiful this this side here is much deeper that's where if you want to go for a swim go to this side Oh, here's somebody out with a drone. Look how clear the water is there. Beautiful. I think I might need to begin in for a wee swim this morning. 
very quiet Saturday morning. It just seems so spookily quiet today. Nice clear seas again. So this is the wee bit here I was saying about the... So, like, I'm talking as far along as... as here. A stone here. That used to be all walkable, where you could walk along it. And the beach part would have came out to about here. So if you can visualise the sand all the way along. So you can see that the... The sea's just pulling it all in there. But listen, it's still lovely. You can come up here, set your stuff on the rocks. And if you look at previous videos on my channel, you'll see videos where I've got a rock there that I used to sit and read a book. And uh, this is my wee happy place in Calabona. And of course, years and years ago, they didn't have this, which they do have now. Is this nice wee kind of off and it's steps that take you in and out of the, the, the sea. I actually wonder is it more steps now? Yes indeed look, it's more like steps, it used to be just like a ladder. So that's better, you can kind of walk in and out, it gives people better access. So that's better. I'll have to get my water camera out and uh, go for some underwater swimming. Monique. Aye. Beautiful times. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video short. That's us for now. I just wanted to show you what the beach was like today. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. As always, get us at the Calabona Tourist. Um, you can just Google us. Google the Calabona Tourist and you'll find us. And there's lots of things on the website for you to go research, read about, find out about. So thanks again. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.